The businesses that isolated affected systems within the first hour reduced breach costs by up to 45%. The biggest cyber threat that keeps businesses up is ransomware, pure and simple. It's not just the attack, it's how they recover. It's how they recover the business. And, and I, I think it's the not knowing. I spoke to a customer recently and they said they wake up every night wondering if they're going to be next. Let's be clear, it's when you get attacked, not if you get attacked. And at the moment, across Europe, two thirds of businesses don't have a plan or have somebody to turn to. The most important thing you can do is practice, is have a plan. Who are you going to call when your computers start behaving strangely? When we talk to small businesses and help them with their cyber priorities, I, I come up with three things. The first is your people. Right, people are your lifeblood. How do you protect them, their devices, their identities? Give them the training they need. The second thing is profit. In the nicest sense, right, how do you make money and how will you continue to make money if you're attacked? That includes your customers and their data. The third is professionals. Right? You really need somebody to help monitor your organization 24 hours a day. Without that, you know, you'll just never know. One of the things that we've seen recently is that actually it's not just technology being targeted, it's people being targeted and using people to target people. By that I mean a, an unprompted message from your boss with a, a video or a voice message asking you to do something, to click on a link or to send some money somewhere. Now, what I'm not saying is you should ignore every email or message from your boss, but Trust that they're there, but verify it and always check when somebody is asking you to do something unprompted. 